Alright, so first I want to apologize by how crappy I probably sound. Um, I got pretty sick last night and I'm still sick today, so there might not be a stream Thursday night. But anyways, I saw this article earlier this morning saying how a fan saves all the Dragon Quest VII DLC maps before the 3DS service shut down. And I thought, oh, that's cool. But I didn't really, like, think about it too much. But one of our uh, Discord members reposted the article in my Discord, which all of you should join, by the way, if you want to hang out with us. It's in the description of all the videos, so just click on that link. Be sure to answer how you found us in Patty's Party Planning Hub. And, uh, yeah, join, come hang out with us uh, in the Discord. Anyways, the article says, Random fan saves all Dragon Quest VII DLC maps for the 3DS servers shut down. This was on Nintendo Life. I feel like Kotaku also did an article on this, but the article I'm reading is by Alana Hags from Nintendo Life. And the article title should be, Absolute fucking legend saves all Dragon Quest 7 maps before 3DS servers shut down because this is like dude this story is like something out of a Dragon Quest game or even out of I've been watching uh, I just watched the latest episode of X-Men 97 which is probably the greatest X-Men episode or anything ever like holy crap if you're not watching X-Men 97 check out Episode 5, I mean, watch them all up to Episode 5, but holy crap, Episode 5 had me in tears and is, like, the greatest X-Men media ever, ever. Um, I loved it and hated it, and it was amazing. But anyways, let's get to the business. So, Dragon Quest Seven, as you know, was remade on the Nintendo 3DS back in, I believe it was like 2016 was when we finally got it, because there's a lot of dialogue in Dragon Quest VII, so there was a lot of translation they had to do. The, the Dragon Quest VII is infamous for the, the script shelf. There's a whole shelf of like binders and binders of dialogue because of how massive this game is, and it's one of my favorite games of all time. Thankfully, with the uh, 3DS servers being shut down, and I think, was it 3DS and Wii U, I think, were shut down just like this past weekend? Ripped right out of a Cable and Bishop episode of X-Men. There's a countdown to destruction, if you will, Power Rangers reference there. There was a super fan who went through and, despite all odds, managed to save all 56 of the DLC maps known as tablets in the game. So anyone who's played Dragon Quest VII knows that the tablets are what take you to the new worlds. I don't want to spoil anything for those of you that haven't played it, but they take you to other worlds, let's just say. Once you complete all the pieces of a tablet, you go through a portal and you go back to a previous world, and it's up to you and, and your party to save it from destruction. Well, that's exactly what Grania, a Dragon Quest enthusiast and content creator, has done. So let's read the article here. With the 3DS and Wii U servers shutting down forever just a few days ago, a huge amount of DLC digital-only games and games reliant on online play have been lost to time. But one Dragon Quest fan, dare I say super fan, sought to preserve all the DLC for the 3DS remake of Dragon Quest VII, and they did it just in time. Grania, a Dragon Quest enthusiast and content creator, has preserved all 56 DLC maps known as tablets in the game. These tablets are only accessible after completing the third island at the earliest, with a handful locked to the post-game. I remember doing, like, I don't, I don't think I did all of them, but I remember doing a good chunk of these post-game uh, tablets, because Dragon Quest IX did a fantastic job with the treasure maps, but the tablets were, like, just as good and sometimes better. They gave you access to, to new worlds that weren't even accessible in the original PS1 game, which is still my preferred way to play the game, but... The uh, 3DS remake added a ton of content while taking out a little bit of content for uh, streamlining things sake. Dragon Quest VII isn't a short uh, RPG, so trying to power through it before downloading all of them isn't that easy. Yeah, so the original PS1 version of the game takes me about 140 hours to beat. The 3DS version, uh, this is of course after beating the PS1 version, takes me about 73 hours to beat. So it's still a very, very lengthy game. And then to go through and get all the DLC maps, this is no task a uh, regular human can do. This is, this is some superhuman ability right here. So Grania was determined to preserve this content so fans could access the DLC whenever they wanted, even after the servers shut down. 
Ganyo was inspired to do this after seeing a thread from a fellow Dragon Quest fan, Sack Chief. Everybody probably knows Sack Chief. He's a pretty uh, prominent uh, Dragon Quest YouTuber. He does a lot of Persona stuff as well. Check him out. Detailing what needs to happen. Using a guide from Ignazia and a speedrun video from Twitch High Spirit set out on her task. She needed to create a clean save file, and to do this, she had to level a particular character up to level 50, and only that character. Recovering from a recent stay in hospital, Grania settled into a rhythm and began the long task of leveling and getting to the third island. How long did it take? Oh, only over 340 hours. And she documented her journey in the YouTube video below. So I'll be sure to put a link to her uh, YouTube video. All of you, please check it out. Support Grania in any way possible for this legendary task. But here's a kind of a picture of the video. But now, because of Grania's efforts, that DLC is preserved and available for everyone to download. Both Grania and another Dragon Quest fan, Danny Fofani, have uploaded their clean saves for the PAL and US versions of the game, respectively. Yeah absolute legend doing what the heroes in Dragon Quest 7 did in Dragon Quest 7 preserving the past so it can live on in the future for everyone to to enjoy so thank you so much Rania for this all us uh, Dragon Quest 7 fans and every future Dragon Quest fan who has yet to play this game thanks you from the bottom of their hearts this is important this needs to be talked about this needs to be shared so yeah check out Grania on YouTube she's just Grania be sure to subscribe uh, to them on YouTube, like their video, check it out, and see how it was done. I mean, she she obviously chronicled uh, her legendary task. But thank you so much for that. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to like, subscribe, turn notifications to all. Join the Discord. Like I said, come hang out with us uh, offline. Tomorrow night's stream might be cancelled because I'm uh, pretty freaking sick still. And my Dragon Quest 2 vs Final Fantasy 2 video is being edited. I finished all the audio segments. Uh, so the audio is all edited. It's just the incredibly uh, gigantic task of editing all my gameplay footage uh, to match what I talk about in the video. So we're still a ways out from that. Hopefully... I'm hoping to have it done by the end of the month, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.